Off the Rack, I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Today we're reviewing The Multiversity by Grant Morrison and Ivan Rice. This is like a s spinning out of uh, Final Crisis. Grant Morrison doesn't get to play with the New 52, but he's playing with the multiverse. Overall thoughts of the multiversity, number one. Uh, this is going to be a new big series. I thought this was a mess. I am really upset. <laughs> a horrible mess. Because... The, but I hated. The book is terrible. The story sucks. The art is so cool. Yes. Yeah, the art is very Ivan Rice knocks it out of the park. The art is gorgeous. It's, I love the character designs. The yeah. action the is scenes, awesome looking. The everything. The yep. colors are yep. fantastic. That's like, true. It is gorgeous. Every character is beautiful. Their faces are really expressive. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's no lazy moment Ugh. in the art in it's this book. It's such a waste. So disappointing. Yeah, it's so And it's extra. Because this book is incomprehensible. Yep. To any new reader or to any casual reader, this is an alienating piece. Anyone who might be interested in comics, run for the hills. If you've read Final Crisis, you have some idea what's happening in this book. Okay. But even then, you don't want to because Final Crisis was so alienating in and of itself that three years later, they rebooted everything with Flashpoint. So, holy God. But let's get into the writing itself because it's by Grant Morrison who really, really wants to be transcendental. So, let's yeah, get into he it. Does. Uh, Thoughts on the writing for Multiversity? It's awful. I don't. I have no idea what's going on. I don't I, until well, about halfway through the book, mm -hmm. it starts to. It stops jumping around it and yelling. it stays in one place, and it's just a straightforward kind of story. Yeah. But before that, there's all this like mystical, symbolic crap mm -hmm. that I don't understand. Like, there's this character, yeah, who starts out. He's reading the comic, the that you're previous reading. page of the comic. Yep. And then. He looks at another comic. Also, what is this deal with these little... Is this text messages? What is happening? Yeah, I think it's just a way for them to show you that it's his thought bubbles. Yeah. Instead of being the narrator of the overall but book. Like, is yeah. that the same book as the one that started out the first page here? Oh. No, no. Ultra is the book that he's... Like doing the dissection of yes 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 the first issue the first page is this issue so there's two different comics with yeah he's holding comic. two different comics one of them is this one and the other right. one's ultra so we don't know this story oh sorry no no is totally this, different for us we are bugs. him right now yeah here are the land and she has lights yeah yes yeah. he's, he's a monitor. Yeah, who had who, who a monitor is like an epic is a monitor like a reader the human form of the monitor from Final Crisis you okay. know he becomes the dark monitor who was the bad guy in Final Crisis one of the bad oh. guys of Final Crisis so I will say that this book to me got way way better toward the end mm -hmm. um, as I started to be able to like ground myself in it. I was like, okay, I've seen these characters now for a few panels. I can start to understand yeah. what the hell is happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, and all the fanboys in this were like, you're a comic hero on my planet. Yep. That's... Can I get your autograph? That's us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not us. If you found that you were a superhero now, and you found other superheroes, mm. do you think you would bring would you get over it? and be like, hey, can you sign this for me? And like, no, no. no. It would be over for you. The magic is over. No, now guess what? Ready. I'm a superhero now. Fuck you. Yeah, People yeah. ask for my signature. <laughs> Multiversity, I mean, it's going to be a, a, a mini-series okay. that some have thought is their way of bringing back the pre-New 52 universe. Right. Some people are going to say, some people think either it's going to resurrect it, and it's going to establish the New 52 as more like an ultimate universe. Okay. And it's, and it's going to bring everything back. Mm -hmm. Some people think that it'll be more like the pre-New 52 universe is just another one of the 52 Earths. Right. And so... Yeah, I assume it's Earth 1 or Earth 0. I don't know. Maybe not. You know what, what bothered me? I mean, there's many things that... Right. Like, What's what? one of the things that bothered me? There's 52 were Earths. Yes. Is that a coincidence? Does that have anything to do with the new 52? That's just... That's the number they use. There was a book called 52 where each book came out for a year. For and there's like, weeks. you know what? 52 is our thing. 52 yep. is a DC thing. Everything's going to be 52 yep. now. That's right. I mean, when New 52 came out, they put out 52 new books. And it's funny because it's 0 through 51. Yeah. I'm willing to bet they're going to end with with an Earth 52. Oh, yeah. Now, one day, we will do Final Crisis on back issues, and mm -hmm. this book will make a little more sense. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Okay. At least you'll get some of the points that Grant Morrison is touching on. Okay. And remember... Final Crisis came out in 2008, they rebooted it in 2011, we're finally getting back to that. Back to so Morrison is kind of trying to 
familiarize the readers, but also get the work done. Right. So he crammed a lot into issue one. Yeah. While also trying to give you an entertaining ride. Yeah. So there's a lot of exposition to get through, and he also can't just tell you, he has to make it insane. Yes. So there's that. Uh, that said, I give this book a three. That's because right. it's hurting the industry. <laughs> if you want to release this book, I'll give this book an eight or a nine if it was a graphic novel. Mm. If you did the whole damn thing. Yeah. And Ivan Rice makes me want to give it like a five or six, but it's like those all those points are his. Yeah. Because Grant Morrison is just hurting comics by making these books. You know what? Yeah, the issue for me with this is that Grant Morrison is like the name that you see all the time when DC is like, here's our superstar. Yeah. And you produce this? Yeah. Like really hard to access book. Yes. That you have to be a big fan of comics and have been Fucking reading convoluted. Yeah. his comics specifically yep. to understand that's not good. Yeah. It's not even referential in the Zeitgeist, it's that referential to himself. Yes. And that is hubris, it's arrogance, and it I think it damages the brand. Yeah. So it's a three. I I'm gonna give it The art's so good. I'm gonna give it a four. Even though I hated it, because the art is so good, and I started to like it kind of toward the end, and mm -hmm. it is competently written. Yeah, like the dialogue is fine. It's just, it's just really confusing as all hell. Yeah, um, but I could imagine it, you know, being very good. So the yeah. story drags it way down, but the art and the just the the quality of the writing is clearly it's a talented person oh, yeah. who made this book. I give it a five because the art is a ten. And the story is a one. Mm -hmm. So the average there you go. together. So it's a five. That's yeah. a five for me. It's fair. I like the road. Yeah, I like it. I think it's just. I think it's a dangerous book mm -hmm. because, like, I, I agree with you on that. I know that you can get new readers, and this is a way to keep them from yeah. coming. This is like, ooh, yep, comics are confusing and bizarre, and yep. not for me. Yeah, yeah no one will understand this. this. Says. There's a way for us to get pre New Fifty Two books without doing this. Yeah. Oh, but th this is so meta. Yeah, like he's talking to you, right? Yeah, it, but not like you. you you, but like you! Yeah. The Mulsiversity number one. Would you guys read more? Nope. Maybe. I would read a Only... I would read the rest. I would read all of it at once. Yeah. No, I don't. No. Maybe. I don't care. I'm done. So there you go. I'll listen to you describe it to me. Yeah, we'll do a back issues on it when it's, fun, when yeah, it's finished. So. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. We'll see you next time on Off the Rack. This it one goes is... back on the rack. Oh, yeah. It's on the rack, all right. It's, it's where, so racked. Where is the rack? Where, the rack is the fireplace. Yeah. 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 It's over there. Right. Bye.